down from there. You'll fall and break your neck. You've got to control the boy of yours. Kevin, listen to your mum. Get down from that tree. That boy never listens to you or anyone. Oh, he's right. Look at him. My son's not scared of anything. He's always mucking up. Why doesn't he watch the footy with us? Will you climb that tree and get him down? I'm trying to watch footy. There's too many people around here for him, love. You're right, auntie. It's always hard for him when our mob are here. Yeah. What's that all about? What's wrong with him? I don't know. I don't think he likes the noise. I've noticed that too. Maybe it's time for everyone to go. Come on, yous. It's time to go. Not even half time. Do what you're bloody well told. That's enough. Uh, come on, I'll drive you. They're all going, Kevin. You can come down now. Everyone's gone now, Kevin. See? Let's go inside. He does this for hours. Kevin doesn't talk much anymore. It's as if he's lost his words. He doesn't play with the other kids. You know how he doesn't like yellow? Well, it's getting worse. All hell breaks loose if he sees a jar of Vegemite. And he won't eat anything yellow. He freaks out, auntie. Trying to get him to eat at all is a nightmare. At dinner, he'll eat mashed potato and carrots, but they can't be touching. None of his food can touch. But he likes red. And I've started wearing red clothes because he likes it. And when he's happy, it's easier. And I want him to be happy. Everything seems hard now. It doesn't matter how many times I tell him to do something. I'm tired of saying things over and over. I can't go to sorry business. I can't go shopping. I can't have my family here. Is it me? Am I going crazy? Or is there something wrong with him? You're not crazy, love. Kevin is special. He's different. Yes, auntie, but there's something wrong with my boy. What are you going to do? I don't know. Remember cousin Brian? He wasn't right either, and auntie Rosie took him to the doctor. Will you come with me? What about your fella? No way, he can't stand those places. All the forms waiting around and doctors talking down to you. I'll come with you, love. Okay, Andy. I guess we have to take him. How was it then? Bloody awful. Oh, I told you. What did he say? He said, Kevin's got something... What did he call it again, Auntie? Stop that, Kevin. The doctor said he has autism. He's got what? Autism? What's that? Can we, can we fix it? It isn't something you can fix. He's got it forever. Looks like a normal kid. He never gets sick. It's not a sickness. He's different and there's nothing you can do about it. But well, how did he get it then? I don't know. Maybe it was something I did. Something I did? Now don't you two start blaming yourselves. Nah, I don't trust flaming doctors. Nothing wrong with my son. Your missus is pretty stressed. Yeah, she's worried about Kevin. She saw that doctor who told her Kevin's got problems. He's alright, isn't he? Kevin doesn't even look at me. 
He does his own thing. When I see him sitting on his own, not playing with the other kids. But when I look at him, he's not sad about it. Yeah, right. But it must be hard, brother. It's not as bad as you think. Except for that bloody tree. I'm gonna cut that damn thing down. I got a chainsaw. I need some firewood. <laughs> hey, Kevin, come over here and play cars. He won't listen to you. Yeah, he will. You just have to tell him a few times and keep it simple. Come here, Kevin. Play cars. So what did the doctor say you got to do next? He gave me a referral to a specialist. I don't know if I can go. You got to go. You got to be strong. I just want what's best for Kevin. We all do. There's a hundred ways of looking at this story, love, and half of them will rip your guts out. Choose the ones that keep our family strong. Four-wheel drive, power steering, cruise control, electric windows. Four-wheel drive, power steering, cruise control, electric windows. Four-wheel drive, You'll power steering. You'll find a way.